there. Good to be back with you again today as we continue through the Word of God. And we are going to be reading and uh, finishing up Ezekiel and starting a new book, Daniel. And so we will be reading Ezekiel chapters 47, 48, <clears throat> and Daniel chapter 1. And Lord bless as we get in his word and read. So starting at Ezekiel chapter 47. Afterward he brought me again unto the door of the house, and behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. For the forefront of the house stood toward the east, and the waters came down from under from the right side of the house. And at the south side of the altar, then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward, and led me about the way without unto the utter gate by the way that looketh eastward. And behold, there ran out waters on the right side. And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits, and he brought me through the waters. The waters were to the ankles. He measured a thousand he and brought me through the waters the waters were to the knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters were to the loins afterward he measured a thousand and it was a river that i could not pass over for the waters were risen waters to swim in a river that could not be passed over and he said unto me son of man hast thou seen this then he brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river now when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river were very many trees on the one side and on the other. Then said he unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country, and go down into the desert, and go into the sea, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, with which moveth, whithersoever the rivers shall come, shall live. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live, whither the river cometh. And it shall come to pass that the fishers shall stand upon it, from Engedi even unto Engelium. They shall be a place to spread forth nets. Their fish shall be according to their kinds, as the fish of the great sea, exceeding many. But the miry places thereof and the marshes thereof shall not be healed. They shall be given to salt. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaf shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his months. Because their waters they issued out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for me, and the leaf thereof for medicine. Thus saith the Lord God, This shall be the border, whereby ye shall inherit the land according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Joseph shall have two portions, and ye shall inherit it one as well as another, concerning the which I lifted up mine hand to give it unto your fathers. And this land shall fall unto you for inheritance, and this shall be the border of the land toward the north side, from the great sea, the way of Hethlon, as men go to Zedad, Hamath, Beratha, Sibrim, which is between the border of Damascus and the border of Hamath, Hazar Hatkan, which is by the coast of Harun, and the border of the sea shall be Hazarinan, the border of Damascus, and the north, northward, and the border of Hamath, and this is the north side. In the east side ye shall measure from Hauron, and from Damascus, and from Gilead, and from the land of Israel by Jordan, on the border unto the east sea, and this is the east sea side, and the south side southward from Tamar, even to the waters of Strife and Kadesh, the river to the great sea, and this is the south side southward. The west side also shall be the great sea from the border, till a man come over against Hamath. This is the west side. So shall ye divide this land unto you according to the tribes of Israel, and it shall come to pass that ye shall divide it by lot, for an inheritance unto you, and to the strangers that shall sojourn among you, which shall beget children among you, and they shall be unto you as born in the country among the children of Israel. They shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel, and it shall come to pass that in what tribe the stranger sojourneth 
There shall ye give him his inheritance, saith the Lord God. Ezekiel 48. Now these are the names of the tribes from the north end to the coast of the way, Pethlon, as one goeth to Hamath, Hazaranan, the border of Damascus, northward to the coast of Hamath. For these are his sides, east and west, a portion for Dan. And the border of Dan, from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Asher. And by the border of Asher, from the east side even to the west side, a portion for Naphtali. And by the border of Naphtali, from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Manasseh. And by the border of Manasseh, from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Ephraim. And by the border of Ephraim, from the east side even unto the west side, a portion for Reuben. And by the border of Reuben, from the east side unto the west side, a portion for Judah. And by the border of Judah, from the east side and uh, east side unto the west side, shall be the offering, which ye, which ye shall offer of five and twenty thousand reeds in breadth, and in length as one of the other parts, from the east side unto the west side. And the sanctuary shall be in the midst of it. The oblation that ye shall offer unto the Lord shall be of five and twenty thousand in length, and of ten thousand in breadth. And for them, even for the priests, shall be this holy oblation. Toward the north, five and twenty thousand in length. And toward the west, ten thousand in breadth. And toward the east, ten thousand in breadth. And toward the south, five and twenty thousand in length. And the sanctuary of the Lord shall be in the midst thereof. It shall be for the priests that are sanctified of the sons of Zadok, which have kept my charge, which went not astray when the children of Israel went astray, as the Levites went astray. And this oblation of the land that is offered shall be unto them a thing most holy by the border of the Levites. And over against the border of the priests, the Levites shall have five and twenty thousand in length and ten thousand in breadth. All the length shall be five and twenty thousand and the breadth ten thousand. And they shall not sell of it, neither exchange nor alienate the first fruits of the land, for it is holy unto the Lord. And the five thousand that are left in the breadth over against the five and twenty thousand shall be a profane place for the city, for dwelling and for suburbs, and the city shall be in the midst thereof. And these shall be the measures thereof, the north side four thousand and five hundred, and the south side four thousand and five hundred, and on the east side four thousand and five hundred, and the west side four thousand and five hundred. And the suburbs of the city shall be toward the north two hundred and fifty, and toward the south two hundred and fifty, and toward the east two hundred and fifty, and toward the west two hundred and fifty. And the residue in length over against the oblation of the holy portion shall be ten thousand eastward and ten thousand westward, and it shall be over against the oblation of the holy portion, and the increase thereof shall be for food unto them that serve the city. And they that serve the city shall serve it out of all the tribes of Israel. All the oblation shall be five and twenty thousand by five and twenty thousand. Ye shall offer the oblation four square with the possession of the city. And the residue shall be for the prince on the one side and on the other of the holy oblation and of the possession of the city over against the five and twenty thousand of the oblation toward the east border and westward over against the five and twenty thousand toward the west border over against the portions for the prince and it shall be the holy oblation and the sanctuary of the house shall be in the midst thereof moreover from the possession of the levites and from the possession of the city being in the midst of that which is the princes between the border of judah and the border of benjamin shall be for the prince as for the rest of the tribes from the east side unto the west side, Benjamin shall have a portion. And by the border of Benjamin from the east side unto the west side, Simeon shall have a portion. And by the border of Simeon from the east side unto the west side, Issachar a portion. And by the border of Issachar from the east side unto the west side, Zebulun a portion. And by the border of Zebulun from the east side unto the west side, Gad a portion. And by the border of Gad at the south side, southward of the border, shall be even of Tamar, unto the waters of Strife in Kadesh, and to the river toward the great sea. This is the land which ye shall divide by lot unto the tribes of Israel for inheritance, and these are their portions, saith the Lord God, and these are the goings out of the city on the north side, four thousand and five hundred measure. And the gates of the city 
shall be after the names of the tribes of Israel, three gates northward, one gate of Reuben, one gate of Judah, and one gate of Levi, Levi. And of the east side, 4,500 and three gates, and one gate of Joseph, one gate of Benjamin, and one gate of Dan. And at the south side, 4,500 measures, and three gates, one gate of Simeon, one gate of Issachar, and one gate of Zebulun. At the west side, 4,500, with their three gates, one gate of Gad, one gate of Asher, and one gate of Naphtali. It was round about 18,000 measures, and the name of the city from that day shall be, The Lord is there. Woo, that is good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. Woo. Good word. Amen. Daniel chapter 1. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with part of the vessels of the God of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar to the house of his God, and brought the vessels unto the treasure house of his God. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, and that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, and of the king's seed, and of the princes. Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored, and skillful in all wisdom, and cunning in knowledge, and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank, so nourishing them three years that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Now among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Ahazariah, Ahazariah, and to whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name Belteshazzar, and unto Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord, the king, who hath appointed you meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king. Then said Daniel to Melzar, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Ahazariah. Prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee, and the countenances of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat. And as thou seest, deal with thy servants. So he consented to them in this manner, and proved them ten days. And at the end of ten days their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat of the portion of the king's meat. Thus Melzar took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink and gave them pulse. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill and all learning and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king, and in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. And Daniel continued even unto the first year of King Cyrus. Amen. Woo! I'm glad to go back and look at uh, Ezekiel, uh, the name of this city. But uh, getting into a new book, and a great book, and another prophet uh, book, uh, major prophet, and um, because of the length, it's not that they're more important or the minor prophets are less important. It's just refer to that because of the length of the book of prophecy. So, uh, but look forward to being back with you again tomorrow and continuing this journey and uh, getting back into Daniel. Lord bless. Have a great day. Bye.